Hey, Salty here. Uh, with, with me reaching 100 subscribers recently, I decided to make a video showing off a little game I tried making uh, two years ago before, when I just so, sort of started playing Her uh, Eternal and I was close to quitting Hearthstone. I, I was getting, like, the game itself, this game is literally just plays like Hearthstone with Magic the Gathering slash Eternal elements. It's nothing original, but I just wanted to think... Uh, I'm getting my words mixed up. I just wanted to, to, to believe that I could just make my own game that's better than Hearthstone. Like, that, not animation-wise, but just something more fun and more fair and not random-ass bullshit. And as well, uh, I wanted to make an, a game where you can actually uh, multi-class. So instead of just playing only Warrior and, and, Warriors only, and each class is only limited to a certain amount of playstyles, I wanted to be like a Warrior-Mage hybrid or something like that. But... It was, cause like, but then it was starting. Then I was trying to figure out how many uh, factions I should make. Like first, originally it was six, but then I took one out, and made it five. I didn't want to try to be. Too, I wanted to be more original slightly, even though it's literally just a Hearthstone clone. But yeah, and another thing I made it different is you know how in Hearthstone you gain one mana each turn. I decided to get rid of that, and where. You ash where where it has the element of power like the power element from Magic the Gathering and Eternal, where you have to uh, play a card each turn as pa as power, but you there's, you don't have power cards. You just give up a card in your hand. Let's say it's a red card, that becomes a red. Pa it's like pledge, pretty much, but it's still that creature. But when you move it to the pool, it you move into something called a card pool, and then you gain like one red influence or something like that, and one point of mana to spend. So that means you have to start off with a bigger hand. And another thing is, I did, where... Where, you know how in Hearthstone you start off with two cards? Huh. What I did in, uh... In my game is, you... You start off, you can start off, uh... The number of copies you can have in your card is based on rarity. Where, co like, commons are, which is bronze here, you can have four copies. Uncommons, you can have three copies, or two copies. That's, no, that's rare. Where's my uncommons? Uncommon here is silver. You can have th three copies. I haven't touched this game in a while. It's been, like, two years. Uh, rares, you can have two, and legendaries... Uh, you can only have one copy. Like, most of the cards here I made, they work, but they're, they're, so most of them are pretty much just copy and paste from uh, Eternal, but renamed and yada yada yada. Because, like, I'm no game designer. I just, like, I tried uh, looking for people to help me make this so we can make it more original, but it was only just me, and I just wanted to, sh to have something to show people. Just to say, hey, I can actually make a Hearthstone-like game. It's not the best. It has no fancy graphics, but if you just want to have some fun, right? Um, and most of the wordings are a little different. Like here, Awaken is a battle cry. Uh, or Summon Effect from Eternal. Scry, if you haven't played Magic of the Gathering, it's like Scout and Eternal. Um, traps are literally just secrets. Um... What's another one? Release it's literally Death Rattle or Entomb. Taunt's the same. Life Steal's the same. Charge Rush is the same from Hearthstone. Uh, I also have an Echo, but the thing about Echo is um, let me see if I where you don't when you draw it doesn't become two copies you play the card like it's kind of like in Hearthstone but you play the card and then it adds a copy to your hand but that co copy does not no longer has the echo skill um i also added like plus 1 healing plus 1 magic damage plus 1 max mana or max power i also did some cool little cards here like uh resourcefulness where you know how I said you move a card to a mana pool? A card like this, you can either uh, take a card from your mana pool to your hand, you lose one mana, but you get that card again, 
or you can put a card in your deck and move it to your mana pool and then if you have another copy of this you can cast it just to grab the card you took out right um what do i do here gain plus one whenever you place a card in your mana pool if this card was if the card that you put in the mana pool was green gain plus two plus two instead oh yeah that was pretty neat um also active abilities active cost one pick a card in your mana pool Hearthstone didn't have that, but Magic the Gathering Eternal did. Um, <laughs> whenever you play a spell, that's literally like that one card. Um, I don't remember the name of it. I haven't, it's been a while. Also, as you see here in this card, all players draw a card. What I also didn't, unlike Hearthstone, you can actually have 2v2s. Which works. Like The whole game works, but the thing is, the server is... The f server I use is, f is free, and it's small, so I can only have about up to four people. So that's enough for a 2v2. So, yeah. It costs money to upgrade the server, which is another reason why I didn't try to pursue this game that much. But what you could do is just, you can make more uh, fr free accounts, and then you can get you get more free server, get more servers like that. But then it would be hard to keep track which server is connected to the other one. But... Yeah, and you have to actually have the the actual uh, project file to actually change the servers, and then you build it. Uh, also, I have mana lock or overload. Overload, is it overload or yeah, overload? Um, so yeah, nothing original. The play of the game itself. Oh, oh, I forgot to mention, uh, you also can pick your hero powers. But as you can see, the hero powers have an influence cost. You can't use them until you put two uh, purple cards into your, uh, for this example, purple cards into your pool, or two white cards. And to sort of speed that up, you can give up, you can have two he uh, hero powers, as you see here. This is just, uh, when I don't have an image, I just use a question mark. And as you see here, you have having a passive here. A passive hero power where it started the game with a point of red in your pool um, and all that junk like I I had a lot of fun trying to come up with ways to make hero powers I want to also come up with dual car like I have program where you can have dual class cards in it in this game but I just couldn't figure out what to do yet so I haven't made any dual class or dual faction cards or hero powers like I had a I had a older model before which had dual class but that's what and that model only had 1v1 not 2v2 but then someone told me try try to make a 2v2 that might get more attention so I did so yeah I'm no game designer so I was hoping to help find some help to help design these cards I, I don't mind don't, I don't even mind doing all this from scratch in the sense like I, I don't want to like destroy the engine I mean like remaking the cards because all these cards are in a uh, SQL database, and like, so it's not that hard to like rename them or change their stats or their colors. But the effects themselves, that's that's a little more annoying. But I set up a, a whole little system how to I can rearrange passives. Like I can give this passive to uh, this guy here if I wanted to. Like you wouldn't understand how to do it. That's how I, but I could know, I would know how to do it, but I'm a little, but it's been two years, so it'd probably take a little bit to remember. Also, as you see here on the bottom, besides rarity, it also uh, has these symbols. That's meant, just meant to be race and job. Like this here says it's a human mage. And what else do we have here? That's a human merchant, human priest, human knight, human priest again. Uh, Angel, Angel Knight. Let's look at another one. That's a spell. Human Warrior, Human Warrior, Warrior Mage. Uh, fuck off. Uh, oh, Elf, Beast, Plant. Uh, 
there's like a few. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, the whole finding the colors you want is not as easy because demon merchant. Now it's beast again. Uh, human thief. Uh, oh yeah, another thing I did. Stats stay with the card, so if you buff a creature permanently, when they go to the void, it sticks, like, internal. So, uh, let's, I thought I made a, pretty much a stupid copy of, of, uh, that card where you take a unit back from your void, you grab a unit from your void and give it plus one, plus one. Give me a sec. I just I just got a message from somebody. Uh, oh, stealth. Didn't make that much stealth cards, did I? Oh, and the steel effect. Uh, oh. oh, yeah. Also added warp, like an internal. I'm sorry if I'm just trying to remember all these at the top of my head. Fuck off. It's hard to tell if I highlight these or not. Uh, charge rush is still there. Also, I added accessories and weapons. Ex you can only equip one of each. And as you see here, it has a, health, a value of six. When you take damage, it goes down. So this has six. And if a unit with free attacks you, it loses three. Same with weapons. Uh, the durability or the armor, it just gives you flat out armor like an eternal. A weapon work more, mm, works more like an eternal, but at the same time, you permanently always have two damage. So if they attack you, they the, the unit or the player uh, takes two damage as well. Um, I can go on and on. If you guys have any questions, I'll answer them. But I'll just show how to play the game. Or not, I'm not going to show real gameplay because I'm going to have to sh uh, go back and forth. And that's kind of not really fun to do. But I'll just show how to set up a game. So yeah, we just click play. We load up our deck. Uh, it says the deck size is 12. I only did that for testing purposes. I would increase it, but I don't even think anyone here wants to try it yet. So... So anyways, yeah, up here you type in your name, then you click 1v1, you create a room, and now you wait for somebody. Now let me just open another copy. Okay. Uh, okay, give me a sec, I wanna, oh, no. I just wanna open the other one I have. No, that's not it. That's the window itself. Uh, fuck off. Is this it? There we go. So yeah, just we just load your deck up. Click play. Now we do reload lobby. We'll give ourselves another name. And then you just click on this. Then the game started. Uh. So yeah, you just to mulligan. You just select the cards you don't want. We'll do that for that. And then for the other window, we just do this. Then we click ready. And as you see here, you have two mouses moving because what I programmed is you see, you can see the other player move their cruiser, but since I'm doing two at the same screen, it's a little buggy. So yeah, um, which one? Which one's the first player and which one is highlighted as the first player? Because it's picked randomly. Okay, okay. The one that's currently on capture is not the first player, so let's just switch it to the other one. There we go. Okay. Uh, now to, uh, to pretty much to move a card to your mana pool, you just right click, and now it's in your mana pool. Now I have two points, cause one because of the passive, and one because there's a card in my mana pool. You see? And this is what I moved to my mana pool. And now I can play this unit I have, so I can just play it, drag it there. And as you see here, it has this little red angry Pac-Man, meaning it has taunt. I couldn't figure out how I wanted to show off taunt. And it has a little sleeping saying it can't attack. So, okay, now let's just go to the other guy's turn. I'm not only just showing ones. Okay, I move a card to my pool. I play the unit, and now let's just end the turn. Pretty much to attack, you just right click and drag and then you just do that and they fight pretty simple <sighs> like I know 
this game will never actually see any real play to it. But it'd be nice that I can help find people to help make it and we can make something special out of it. I'm not trying to make money. I'm just trying to make something better than Hearthstone that people can enjoy and you don't have to spend any real money to it. But that's never going to happen. But I just wanted to share something I I spent months trying to make on my own. Trying to, like, I went to school for game programming. But you can't, just because I know program doesn't mean I'm an artist. Doesn't mean I'm a game designer. Doesn't mean, uh, um, what's the word? Just because I went to school for programming doesn't mean I can I'll be I know how to make games, like 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 the best people. But yeah, I'm just rambling on. But anyways, this is uh this is a game a card game I want I made I wanted to show it. I hope you guys found it interesting and I hope I did, hope you didn't stop watching halfway through. If you got to the end, thank you for listening to me ramble, and I hope that post more videos, not of this but it'd be nice. But um. Oh, also, I on my Discord channel, I did put a room called Project Champion. That's what this game is called. Um, so if you have any suggestions, or if you want to maybe even play it with me, I'll I'll gladly uh, fix up the game a little bit, and if you want, and I'll gladly it would be fun to work on it again. It would give me something to do. Show on my resume. Uh, oh yeah. So anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time.